All right, we are going to be talking about translating from VR to other programs, uh, such as uh, anything via DXF, particularly AutoCAD, uh, or MicroStation via the MST transfer protocol. Uh, MST is an ASCII file that was developed by Cardinal specifically for transferring data back and forth with MicroStation, trying to do it uh, losslessly and flawlessly, and a lot of that is going to have to do with how it is configured and set up. Uh, need to speak just uh, a moment in advance to any kind of translation. Anything that, that we go into and out of uh, VR with, the key is going to be the, the cross-referencing system. Uh, VR was designed with fairly simple attributes. Uh, for example, layers. You can see that uh, layers have numbers. The numbers are the most important thing. There are, uh, there can be text associated with those numbers, and it can be referenced in a lot of ways, but the number is the important thing. Uh, the, the beauty of using integers for that is when you act on layers, you can use things like number lines. So if I want to select a certain grouping of layers, I can say 1-10 to get all the layers between 1 and 10, or I could say 1402, comma 1406, and it would only act on those two layers. <coughs> you can also do things mathematically to layer numbers in uh, global changes. So uh, the, the numeric system works out nicely. Uh, for symbols, same kind of thing. There are graphics associated with the symbol. Uh, there's a name associated with the symbol, uh, but when I'm changing to a symbol, when I'm cross-referencing a symbol, in most cases it is going to be uh, that number that I'm going to deal with. Some of the programs do actually uh, access the names, um, but just keep in mind that uh, the, the VR attributes were designed fairly simply. There are some more complex attributes and there's ways to extend those, but when translating the key is going to be making sure that we have a cross-referencing table to go from the VR system to wherever, uh, whatever software that we are going to using whichever uh, function, whether it's DXF in, DXF out, MST in, MST out. Uh, those are the ones that we are going to uh, work with. Right now we're specifically going to be working with uh, the MST going to MicroStation and uh, there are ways to transfer uh, where I would uh, just start with a, a blank slate. I take the VR symbology, the VR names, the VR layer numbers and uh, layer names and transfer those directly into an empty microstation file. Everything gets created on the fly, is embedded in the, uh, uh, in the MST file, and uh, you know, we don't have to worry about any, any kind of templating system. In this example, example, we are going to be translating into a system that has a template. Uh, in this case, the Ohio Department of Transportation, they have a predefined template with colors for the, you know, the level numbers, level names, color by layer, line style by layer, uh, all those things. That we're going to send the data directly into that template system. So really all we have to do is make sure that the names that we send out are going to be recognized by the template and everything is going to be um, transferred properly and put in the correct place. The first thing that we're going to do really is just cut to the chase. Uh, we want to show the procedure for translating uh, using the uh, MST functions. Uh, here I've got a just a standard microstation file that uh, is in you know, all the proper levels and 
colors and symbology as we would expect it to be. Now, what I'm going to do at this moment is do a translation as if everything is already set up. The, the translation parameters are, are set, the cross-referencing is done, and you know, I if I have all that done, how hard is it to go from one system to another? Well, if I am in MicroStation, uh, there is no cross-referencing. Uh, the, 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 the MicroStation end of things is just simply read it in or write it out. Uh, because of this, if you have the, uh, the MDL programs, uh, you can send those to a client and they could read the, the file in themselves uh, for that matter because there isn't any cross-referencing that has to be done. Here I'm starting out with a MicroStation file, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the MDL for this version of MicroStation. So load MST out 8, and that is going to run the MDL. In this case, all I have to do is specify the name of the file that I want to write. So let's go ahead and save that out. Do we want to replace the existing? Sure. And it's done. The MST file has been read, or I'm sorry, written out. So we can just get out of MicroStation. Uh, in this case, let's go ahead and take a look at that MST file, just to give you an, uh, an idea of what it is. Uh, just a, a very short header. There's not, not a lot of really fancy information because it's written specifically to be written and read only by the MST functions. So if we jump right down to an entity, okay, so there's a little bit of a header information that will control the uh, uh, how the program works, but we can get right down to a particular entity. In this case, it is a line. So in Intergraph MicroStation, there was a line. It was in this level number. It was in this layer. Uh, the color and weight and all these other things were, were set by level. Um, if it had a style name attached to it, you can see the style name there. And then at that point, it's just a, uh, a coordinate list. And so that coordinate list, and who knows how long that is. Uh, and then it's a coordinate list end. So those points are attached uh, to the attributes that are listed at the beginning. So you can see uh, lines, and you know we could scroll down. There's obviously you know, in that file, there were a lot of things in there, uh, whether it was arcs or lines or line strings. Uh, looks like this should be a cell. Let's see what we've got here. Um, so an element cell, cell name, level number, level name, color, all those things are there. So that's what the MST file is. Fairly simple and straightforward and an ASCII file. If uh, you know you run into problems, you could always go in and look at that. Just a quick view of the MSI file. This is the MicroStation in cross-reference. So you can see the kinds of things that are in here. Uh, when it comes across a level by this name uh, and this color and weight and all those things, uh, it will be translated into VR layer by that number. So all of these, all of these things have to be satisfied for it to be transferred into this layer. Um, so really, all it's doing, it, you can have multiple multiple different line types and multiple different cells all in the same uh, in the same level in microstation and they can be uh, broken out or combined uh, in the uh, microstation translation during the MST in process so we went into microstation 
we did MDL load MST out uh, 8. Click go, select the file name. This is the file that was corrected. Once we get into VR, uh, and actually, let's go ahead and uh, this is one that was done, but let's go ahead and close this. And let's do a new VR. And we'll just uh, call this one uh, from from microstation.vr and make sure that the header is set correctly with the proper representative fraction and then we are going to do an MST in this is what pops up uh, you can see that it loaded the previous MST parameter file so if I had an MST file coming out of MicroStation, it took a couple of words and a couple of clicks to create the MST file. Remember, in this example, we are assuming everything is cross-referenced properly. And so all I have to do is define the MST file name. And I am going to be reading in Okay, let's just say I don't know what I'm reading in. Let's just clear this out. And I want to add a file. And the MST file that I just created is this one. So we're going to select that. OK. OK. Everything is set correctly. And I'm just going to click Translate. OK and quit and save the parameter file. I didn't make any changes, but I'll just say yes. Now, in this case, I just realized I had it set to translate into um, a different file name. So I'm going to close this VR because I did not read it into this file. I had it read into a file based on the MST file name. So I go ahead and open that up. And this is, as far as I can ascertain, um, I believe this is a bug. I have not figured out how to make it read in with proper line weights. So I'm just going to say global change, GLOB, take all lines, set them to a width of zero because that's what I normally work with. and I know where the problem is. I know what's causing it. I just don't know how to um, avoid it. So, if we were to go back to the MicroStation file, all right, you can see this is what we started out with, and then that's what we ended up with. In this case, the the files, uh, all the lines are being transferred into solid lines. That is configurable, but for now that's just how it is set. So to recap, if I want to go from the MicroStation file to a v VR file, open the MicroStation file, MDL, load, MST out, 8, enter. It asks for a file name. I give it a file name. The MST file is created. I go into VR, MST in set the name of the file that I want to transfer, click Translate. In this case, I need to do, do that global change. Uh, that command is just G-L-O-B. Set all the line weights to zero, and I have a finished translation. So if I wasn't explaining every single click, the whole process takes about a minute and a half. The next thing that we want to do is go back in the other direction. In other words, we're going to start with a VR file that was created using all the proper parameters and function keys, and we want to translate that into a MicroStation file. So let's say that this VR file that I have in front of me 
was created and now it just I'm making maps and so I'm done making the maps and I'm ready to transfer it into a microstation file again we are assuming that the translation parameters all the cross-referencing is done and this is just how things are clicked to get from one file to the other uh, we will spend significant time talking about the cross-referencing talking about the parameters but in this one what I want to show is it once I have everything set it's just a matter of a few clicks so we are in VR that's where the mapping was done we're gonna say MST out and of course like everything you know I can get the things through the menus I can go file export MS microstation MST out uh, it's just that I don't very often use the uh, uh, use the pull down menus once I run MST out it has all the, uh, the, the tools that are necessary to create the cross-reference table. Uh, we're just assuming that the cross-referencing is done. So I've got my VR file done. I need to go to MicroStation. What do I have to do to get there? I'm just going to click Translate. And it is going to output an MST file. In this case, we can see the name of the MST file. So let's click that. And no, we don't need to save because we didn't make any changes. And if we were going to look at that MST file, you can see very similarly uh, that you know an MST file is an MST file regardless of where it came from so this one was created inside VR and it has all the kinds of things that we would expect uh, you know we've got level numbers level names style names and coordinate lists so that data uh, I just said MST out clicked translate and it was done now I have an MST file I go into uh, microstation and let's just go ahead and create a new VR file and let's call it uh, from VR and this time we need to do MST into MicroStation so we're gonna say MVL load ST in ST in 8 because that's the version that we're working with so I actually got rid of all the other MDLs. There's only two MDLs available to me here, MSTN8, MSTOUT8. Uh, I want IN. So I'm going to need to select the MST file and I had that translated into a file called O. Dot MST and because this has a template and everything is going to be uh, uh, is set by level I'm just going to go ahead and say as you are reading the entities just go ahead and set them by level import that it's going to read all those elements go ahead and fit the view and you can see that it looks very much like the file that was originally uh, created in MicroStation and that's that's the goal the goal is that you would not know where this file came from I'm sitting here in MicroStation it looks like it was created in MicroStation everything is the same the one thing that we need to do is for things like custom line style names the, the the scale of the patterning is important so I am going to say I'm trying to remember what I say oh I know model properties 
and we're going to set it to the correct scale and we're going to say use the annotation scale there okay and now we can see the things like um, tree lines and fences and guardrails are all scaled correctly so there's my fence um, I can see that you know the, the leveling is correct um, it's a cell shrub in vegetation existing cells uh, if I go to lock on to identify properties everything that I would expect to see um, is completely normal I would say as if it was created in MicroStation but that's redundant because it was created in MicroStation using the data from VR it's just that the creation method was MSTN8 uh, via that ASCII MST file all right in this example so we're assuming that uh, everything is pretty well set up as far as the translation tables we know what we're doing um, but just as a standard practice let's just look at the cross-referencing a little bit uh, in this case uh, we're going to add a feature that has never been collected before uh, let's go to a cable TV pole and sure enough there's one of those in this guy's backyard so we now have something in this file that has never been translated so consequently it hasn't been cross-referenced um, here's a best practice when we're doing an MST out so I'm in VR here is a symbol that has never been translated before I'll go to MST out the first thing I'm going to do is add VR entities to cross-reference and do I want to use the VR layer names since we have the numbers and layers all uh, standardized between MicroStation and VR I can go ahead and say yes and sure enough there is something that has been added to the symbol cross-reference table it was in layer 1800 and the name of the symbol is CTVA okay let's just acknowledge that and then let's go to the uh, cross-reference symbols and find out that sure enough down at uh, CTVA has been added so if there is something in VR layer 1800 and it is called a CTVA uh, what do we want to do with it well let's go look in MicroStation and see how those things are handled so let's go to uh, the cross-reference manager and I actually found this information by going to uh, CAD standards and looking up CTVA what's supposed to be done with that uh, it's put in UTX cable TV cells and if I go over here and look at UTX cable TV cells there's a couple things I can find out about it um, sure enough it's layer 1800 what is the name of the uh, level that it's going to go into it's color 6 okay so we can go back to that close that MicroStation away and we no longer need that so the cell is going to be C T V A. The level number is eighteen hundred. The level name, which I got from the uh, PDF file. Now, all of the colors and weights and those types of things are going to be set by level when we do the import. So I don't have to worry about any of those things right now, other than the scale everything is placed at the target scale 
So if I say change, everything should be propagated there. And let's just look to make sure that it looks similar to other cells that have been placed. Right, it has its name, it has its number, um, not being exploded. So I'm just looking to make sure that everything looks familiar and similar to the other the other cells that have been placed. So I can say, okay, that has been cross-referenced. And I can go ahead and say translate. So it's going to output the file that I'm working on and it's going to write it to vroutput.mst. That's just a standard file name that I've been using. OK, and I can say quit. And yes, I do want to save that because I have made some changes to the MSO, the MicroStation Out file. Uh, if I wanted to go ahead and look at that MSO file, I can see the changes that have been made down in the symbol section in layer 1800 CTVA has been added with all the proper settings and we should now be able to translate that into MicroStation. So let's go ahead and go to MicroStation and I went ahead and created a new file using file new and I've called the design file from vr.dgn and dl load mst in 8 because I'm bringing an mst in from vr always make sure that the first thing I do is click on by level and go ahead and find the file that I just translated vr output.mst and it's going to go ahead and read that in. And so now we should be able to, if we can find the proper backyard. There it is. There is our cable TV pedestal. And you see that the line patterning is not correct yet. I'm going to make sure that I go to Model Properties, set it to 50 scale, make sure it's set to annotation scale. OK. Now all of the MicroStation entities look correct and proper. We've got our catchphrases and unknown manholes and stumps and tree lines. Let's try to pan around here. The guardrails look good. All of the trees. Guard light poles. Everything appears to be looking all right. And so to recap, if we are translating an MST out of VR, it's always a good idea to start by clicking the Add Entities to Table. If all the entities in the file have been translated before, nothing will be added. Everything is fine. If there is something that has been added, then it will be added to the cross-reference table. All you have to do then is go into the cross-reference table, edit it, to make sure that it matches what we see in MicroStation in the uh, in a standard seed file.